Because of you, I was able to find these things. That's why I love you. Hey there, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are in the process of paying off $300,000 worth of debt and we are using Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps as the guide. So we are here to motivate you on your debt-free journey. So come along with us. If that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. As a part of our monthly budget report card video, we detail everything that we purchase online in its own category. And now we've started doing it in its own video. I want to detail everything that we get. That way you can understand where we're spending our money exactly, because it's not very helpful to see an online budget category and a total. It helps if I break it down by each individual purchase and why, because sometimes my whys trigger you to remember things to put in your budget. And that is my goal. Like Dr. Seuss's birthday. Do you know it's coming up in March? I'll get to that one in a minute. Now, I will tell you, sometimes our purchasing is justified and sometimes it's frivolous. But if you've been around for any amount of time, you know that I always own up to all of my frivolity because I'll admit it, there's frivolity in my life. It's a thing here in the Valencia household. And don't worry, we had frivolity this month for sure, but I'm gonna justify it. <laughs> <laughs> like I always do. So this month was small in number of purchases, but kind of large in amount spent. So the reason we had fewer purchases this month is because we did start out Mike's money challenge and I will be doing a video on March 7th to update that. I was going to do it today, but I decided to go ahead and wait because I really want to get together all, all the deets, exactly how much money is going to debt in the month of February to make sure that I'm meeting the challenge the way I should be. So let's jump on into what we bought this month. With all of my Amazon purchases, keep in mind the screenshot that I am overlaying is not necessarily the price I paid because I screenshot at the end of the month and the price fluctuates drastically on the Amazon. That is why I use Camel 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 to figure out the best time of the month to purchase things or best time of the year or whenever. It really helps me know that I am getting the best price not sponsored, but I love Camel Camel Camel. So the first thing in our budget that I am going to talk about is expensive and it's frivolous and I know it, but I'm super excited about it. Mauricio and a bunch of his coworkers got together and they decided that they wanted to go see Juanes in concert. And Juanes is an awesome Colombian singer and he is coming to the area. And I am super, super, super excited to go with Mauricio and it's gonna be so much fun. Um, we don't do this very often. And what we decided is rather than doing Valentine's Day, we were gonna go ahead and purchase these tickets because as you know, the government shutdown ended on the 9th. We came out of semi-storm mode fairly quickly in February and went back to our normal spending. And so we had planned on doing Valentine's Day you know, just going out to dinner and a movie. But we decided rather than doing that, we were gonna go ahead and buy these concert tickets. So we're excited to be going with some of Mauricio's friends and I'm just excited to go see Juanes. Those tickets were $130. <gasps> I know, but it is what it is. And we spent it and we agreed on it ahead of time. So I'm good with it. So the next thing in our budget is $3.99 for a movie rental for Amazon. It was The Descendants 1. And the reason we rented it is every Friday night at this house, we have movie night with Melina and she gets to pick the movie most of the time. And sometimes we use the, the Fios account here in the house and use points to rent the movie. And sometimes we pay for the movie and sometimes we pay for the movie and sometimes my parents pay for the movie. It just depends. So uh, this night it was not available on Fios. So we went ahead and rented it ourselves and Melina loved it. We had it for the whole weekend and I, I kid you not, the girl watched the movie, I think nine times in the weekend. She would turn it on and then go play and then come back and watch and dance. And it was so cute. The weekend after watching Descendants, Melina on Friday, we had to pick her up at school cause she threw up in the classroom. On Saturday, she was feeling better. 
but she wasn't feeling energetic. So she was just laying around. She wasn't sick anymore, but she was just laying like a lump. So she asked if she could watch The Descendants again, and we had rented it the weekend before, and we decided she was gonna watch it enough that we would go ahead and buy it. So we bought Descendants 1 and 2 for a total of $15 for the two of them. So she's already made that worth it. It was an impulse purchase. My baby girl was sick and she wanted to watch a movie and I felt bad, so yeah. I let her have it. The next three purchases were Melina's Valentine's Day present. They weren't terribly, terribly exciting, but she loved them. And again, because she had gotten so into the Descendants, we decided to do a Descendants themed Valentine's Day kind of. And she needed new pajamas that were more springy. So we got her these Descendants pajamas and they were costly. They were $36.90, but she has already worn them. Like she made me wash them three times in one week so she could wear them all the time. She is so excited about them. So I was happy with that. And then we spent $8.42 on a Descendants necklace and she wore it to school and promptly the teacher made her take it off because she kept playing with it. And then we spent $4.39 on this glitter paint because she had asked us for some more paint. Not a stellar Valentine's Day present, but you know, we got one thing she needed off the list, the pajamas, and then got her two kind of cheap little presents. We're not huge Valentine's Day people, but we understand kids love it. So we were happy with that. The next thing I purchased was $3.17 for some command strip refills that are clear because I bought these little hooks and Melina popped a couple off of the wall playing with them and I needed to stick them back on, but I had nothing. The next thing was $10.99 for Valentine's. They were just your typical little valentines they had a tattoo in them that smelled like cherries melina loved them was super excited about them they were a little bit more expensive than most valentines but they worked out well the next thing i got was this buenos nino skirt which melina has like four of these in lots and lots of different colors and they are the cutest things ever the reason that i got this was for dr seuss's birthday is coming up the first week in march and i always make melina a truffle a tree and if you haven't seen that video i'll link it right up here it is a super easy super cheap costume you can do it with stuff you have on hand but we don't have very much white stuff and i like her to wear a fluffy white skirt so we went ahead and got this i got it in a, a size much bigger than she normally wears and i'll pin it so it should last for a couple of years the next thing Thing I purchased you will notice I have a new backdrop there is logic behind that and I will be getting into that later this week but I did purchase a backdrop off of Amazon that I had planned on using it was $18.99 and it was super cute and I really liked it but the problem was it was five by seven and in order to get it wider I had to pay a lot more money five by seven was pretty reasonably priced you know eight by eight or eight by ten much less reasonably priced so it when i would film you could see the wall on both sides so that didn't work out so i am i was going to return it but we put it up on the wall with painter's tape and it peeled off some of the vinyl on the corners it was like the the texture of a cheap shower curtain basically but it peeled off some of the decoration so i couldn't return it so I will probably sell it on like marketplace for, you know, like five bucks. I won't, I won't recoup the money, but it'll be better than nothing. So the last thing I'm going to talk about was a suggestion by Brandy Lane. I had not even, I not, honestly, I don't know that I even knew these things existed. And that is these, these are disposable mascara wands. As you know, I've been having chronic eye issues and I was saying how I was going to have to buy new mascara every month and I liked expensive mascara and she said but why don't you use disposable mascara ones and so I got on Amazon and for $10.99 I was able to buy 300 of them which should be enough to last me the better part of a year and I will not have to replace my mascara every single time I get an eye infection which is fantastic I am super excited by this. This may be like one of my best purchases ever. I started using Lash Paradise, which Brandy also recommended, but I had gotten it recommended to me by my sister-in-law and I love it. Like 
love it. It's it's a really good mascara. It seems to stay on pretty well. It doesn't flake. Um, I bought my first tube several weeks ago. So give it another month, see how it, when it dries out to see if it starts flaking a little bit. But even if I had to buy it every month, it's not terribly expensive. Lena's home. Hello, come here. Come here. Come, wait, hold it. Oh my gosh, when did you get so big? I missed you all weekend. What's wrong? My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts? Why? I don't know. Hello. Okay, so the next thing we're talking about is my silly goofy mama. So, um, so the camera, is the camera on? Oh yeah, it is. So, la 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 <laughs> So I'll be in all of the videos. I'll be sitting over there and sometimes I'll be standing here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So, yes, yes, my two people watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Billy Goofy. You're so funny.